welcome to my makeup bag. So basically this consists of products that I am trying on a weekly or daily basis, products that I already love and use all the time and I need them in, a, my, in my bag or products that are just extras. I don't even know what's in here, honestly. So the thing I have first, my makeup bag foundation. This is the one I took with me on purpose. This is the Iconic, the Super Smoother Blurring Skin Tint. Let's put it on. I like this product because it's in a squeezy tube. You can put it on with your fingers. You can put it on with a brush. It looks very pretty. It's very blurring. It's kind of a more full coverage of the Fenty Beauty blurring skin tint, which is was one of my favorites, but this one has a little bit more coverage and it's a little bit more blurring. I also have brushes in here. So this one I've been obsessed with lately is the Makeup by Mario. I like that it's double-sided, so I use the smaller side for my concealer and then the bigger side for literally my bronzer, for my blush, for my uh, foundation, if I do kind of like a one-step process. Next, I have my eyebrow products in my makeup bag. I have several different things. <laughs> I have a pencils, pen, brow wax, and brow gel. First pencil is by NYX, <laughs> one of my favorites. This one is an honest last leg. This is the one I use most during the trip. This is the Winky Lux, the Unibrow Precision Pencil, one of my favorites. And then I have the Patrick Ta Brow Defining Pencil. This is one that I'm really upset about, but I'm using it as much as I can because it's so expensive. My biggest gripe with that product, it's good, but it's expensive. And then I have my two brow products. This one is my first step. This is by Trio Beauty and this is their Butterfly Brow Lifting Wax. So good, incredible. If you like that fluffy brow, this product is amazing. It's $19 worth every single penny. And then of course my trusty Benefit 24 hour brow gel. But today we're just gonna do this because I'm just kind of starting from the top going, making my way down. Making my way downtown. What's the next lyric? Walking fast. Walking fast. Na na na. <laughs> na 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 na. You should stick to makeup. <laughs> how dare you? I'm actually gonna finish off. This is a, this is how much I have left of the pencil. That's it. That's my little stub. But I've had this one for a while because I wasn't using it every day. That I made a mission to just put it in my makeup bag and just finish it off. All right, next. I have a dry beauty blender that's dirty that needs to get washed. Next is a lipstick by Merit, one of my favorite everyday lipsticks. The formula, the texture of it, the color is just beautiful, spot on. This is in the color Millennial. The only thing I don't like about it is a, is the smell. It smells kind of like play makeup. Next we have brushes. One of my favorite blush brushes for cream, powder, liquid, Rare Beauty, uh, soft pinch blush. I have some eye pencils in here. What do we have? Brushes, more brushes. So I have two like specific pencil brushes, Bobbi Brown and then my Sigma, then Makeup by Mario, Makeup by Mario, and then MAC. I have my favorite face brush, Bobbi Brown, and Makeup by Mario, F4 brush, F4, F1. And I think that's all the brushes I have in here. Nope, I lied. I have my Spectrum brush. Is there more? Oh, that's it. That's all the brushes I got with me. That's pretty good for Milana. <laughs> you can see these are my favorite brushes. <laughs> Besides the Merit. Can't forget the concealers in the makeup bag. It will not be complete without concealers. I have four, I have a cream, and then three liquids with all different finishes. <laughs> all right, first one, Dior, the Backstage Concealer. This one I love for that really beautiful radiant finish. Then I have the Colfi Concealer. This is the Main Match Concealer. This one I really like for when the weather is humid, when it's very muggy outside, because this thing stays put. <laughs> it's kind of like a gripping concealer. If that's the best way I could describe it. And then I'm also playing with this one, the Makeup Revolution, the IRL Filter Finish Concealer, the Soft Matte. So I was playing with both of these in Florida and I always find myself, I was reaching more towards the Colfine than the Makeup for not the Makeup Forever, the Makeup Revolution. I found that this was a little bit too drying under my eyes in the weather. So I was reaching for this one. So let's go with Colfi. But I like this concealer because it's a good coverage, medium coverage. It cancels out the redness. It conceals my dark circles. And it just looks really nice under your eyes all day long. I mean, it kind of wears down really pretty if you don't set it. But it also sets really nicely with loose translucent powder, pressed powder, but you also don't need to set it because like I said, it's kind of like a gripping concealer. I forgot I had one more concealer in here. This is a cream concealer in a pot. This is the Hint Beauty Concealer. Uh, they're perfecting concealer, but I like this one if you need that really full coverage, but it also wears really well throughout the day. It really packs a punch. A little bit goes a long way, 
but you are concealed. It doesn't look drying. It just wears really well throughout the day, but this is shade is way too light for me. Next we have eye products stuff. We have one eyeliner. Wow, I have three eyeshadows in here by Jones Road. I wore two of them for LED's birthday party. I wore So Pretty, and then Ash is the matte shade that I kind of wore all over the crease. And with these, I found that you don't have to use a primer. They're budge proof, they're so good. I'm just gonna take this matte shade, and I'm gonna take, what's this, E3 Makeup by Mario brush, and just apply it all over the eyelids. You can go heavy handed with it, or you can go pretty light like I am, like a really light dusting. If you guys are looking for new eyeshadow brushes, Makeup by Mario. So far, every brush that, I, brush that I've tried from him, I really enjoy. I'm just taking whatever's left on the brush on the lower lash line, kind of squeezing the brush towards the tip. I'm going to clean it up. I'm just going to take the concealer brush and just ever so softly just go over the edges. You know what? Let's apply a little bit of eyeliner. Why not? Pat McGrath in Black Coffee. This right here is her Permagel Ultra Glide Eye Pencil. I feel like a lot of her products are so underrated. This is one of them. They're expensive, but worth every single penny. They're so creamy, so pigmented, and they last all day long. The eyeliners, they're beautiful. I wanna do a wing where you can't even notice it. I'm just using my fingernail to drag it out. And then of course we can't forget our mascaras. I have four. <laughs> so the first one is e.l.f. Lash and Roll. The next one is a tubing formula by Clio. I think it's called Clio Beauty, but the Clio mascara, I got it from uh, Amazon. It's their Kill Lash Super Proof ma Mascara in the Extreme Volume version. I think it's number four. And then the good old Merit Clean Mascara. It's a tubing formula as well. And this one is really great. It's all, it also gives you the most fluttery, fluffy lashes and it wears beautiful all day long. You just need water to remove this. But this one right here, the Clio Lash, this one gives you the extreme volume. So you can mix all these together or just depending on the mood, you can go with either one. Today, I'm gonna move these to the side. We're gonna go with e.l.f. I forgot I had this one and done eyeshadow in here by Shantakai. This is their luminous, lumens, lumen, wamalon, luminescent eyeshadow in the zebra. It's the color rose gold. First of all, the packaging is just stunning. Kind of reminds me of the Hourglass, their Ebnient Lighting Palette. I'm just gonna put it right in the center. I just want something really nice and soft. Next in my makeup bag, we have a cream contour and a cream luminous bronzer. All right, starting with contour. This is probably my favorite product for luxury. Beautiful, beautiful Westman Atelier, their contour stick. It is just a dream to work with. It has the perfect pigment. It has the perfect buildability, the blendability, the workability, and of course the wear time. I have the shade Biscuit. I'm gonna go with the F1 brush and just start stippling it into my skin. I find that the brush is the best for cream products because you have the most control and placement. With a sponge, I think it looks a little more diffused. So if you want that really soft look, you try a sponge. But in my, my opinion, a brush works the best. You get the best control and the best finish. I'm gonna take a little bit of the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Blush. And this one is a great topper. I liked it in Florida on the forehead. And then I would go with my foundation brush and just kind of gently um, soften it even more. Next in my makeup bag, we have three blushes. We have two liquid blushes and a powder blush. First one is by Rare Beauty in Encourage. This, stunning, beautiful. The tiniest little dot possible and you get a full coverage blush. And then you have the Danessa Myricks. These are more of like gel liquid. Let's do a little bit of this one. Let's do the Danessa Myricks. I just like to place it on the back of my hand like so and take my Rare Beauty blush, brush, blush brush, but then start working it onto my cheeks. Like this one is not scary to work with. I'll show you on the other side, Rare Beauty, just so you can see the difference. I'm gonna do the same thing, clean up as much as possible, do a tap like so. And this one goes a long way in comparison to Danessa Myricks. And that is very little that I took. We're getting down to the bottom of my makeup bag. I only have one highlighter in my makeup bag, just the one. She's special. <laughs> it's my Merit Highlighting Balm Stick in shade Kava. This one is really beautiful. It gives you that really wet look on your skin. The only thing, it doesn't have the longevity. It kind of starts slipping and sliding if you don't set it. I would apply it first and then apply loose translucent powder on top to kind of soften it. But yeah, I find that sometimes it doesn't, not sometimes, all the time if I don't set it, it kind of disappears within four to six hours. But this is beautiful. I love that it's a stick. I love that it looks 
wet, dewy, glowy, all that good stuff. Well, look at this. I found another little mascara in my makeup bag. <laughs> This is the Clinique. This is the bottom lash mascara. Super tiny. The tiniest little wand you could possibly find for a mascara. Just look at how beautiful this wand is. It's perfect for those little lower lashes. And this mascara does not smudge. It does not flake. It doesn't transfer. So if you have a very uh, hard time finding a mascara for your lower lash line, this one is great. Surprisingly, I only have three lip liners in my makeup bag. Wow, I'm pretty reserved for my lip products, guys. Pretty happy with myself right now. All right, so first lip liner is by Make Makeup by Mario. This is in shade Lauren. Slightly obsessed with his lip liners. They're just great. They're very pigmented. The only thing is you need an extra sharpener to sharpen your lip pencils. But I find that for these neutral shades that you can wear every day, I don't really need a sharpener. But this one is beautiful. It's very, very creamy. It has like that suede velvet finish. Next, we have my Milani. Which shade is this? All Natural number four. This one I need to sharpen. I've went through so many of these already. This one is definitely more of a true beige. It's just a nice, beautiful, natural color for my lips. And then last but not least, we have my NYX. Most of my favorite lip liners are in here in shade Nude Truffle. It's a beautiful, warm brown tone. This is stunning even on its own with just some lip gloss. But I like all three of these because first of all, they all offer different shades for my looks or whatever that I'm going for. They're all very creamy, they're pigmented, they wear pretty well, and I like them paired just on their own, fill in the entire lip with just some lip gloss and I'm good to go. For lipsticks, <laughs> I got my options in my makeup bag. So the first one was the Merit lipstick that I told you guys that I applied already. Next one is Rose Ink in shade Demure. Is that how you pronounce it? Demure. This one's really pretty. I like the shade also, really beautiful every day. Next, we have my Charlotte Tilbury and Scarlet Spell. Don't know how long this has been here in here. I remember I did a video with this lipstick. I don't remember when, but I love her lipsticks. Charlotte Tilbury's are very, very, very pigmented. So you do have to use, especially darker shades, I would use a pencil or a brush to help blend it all together like a pencil brush. Next, we have the newer MAC. Their Powder Kiss Vel Velvet Blur Slim Stick lipstick in shade peppery pink. This one is stunning. This is beautiful. <laughs> it's like these two mixed together. <laughs> this one gives it that really nice uh, powder matte finish. They last a really long time without a lip liner. You don't have to reapply it as often as you would think. And last but not least, Freck. This is their Makeout Club Soft Blur Lipstick. I haven't used this one yet. Ooh, this one's very blurring. <laughs> This one's more coral. They're all different, guys. And of course, then their special product in my makeup bag <laughs> is a pressed setting powder with a nice mirror. A Westman Atelier powder. This is the Vital Pressed Skincare Powder in Translucent. This has been in here since I tried this last year and I like it, but I don't love it enough to repurchase it or to even talk about it as much just because it is so expensive. Like I said, I like it enough to keep it in my makeup bag because I like that it has skincare in here. It's healthier. It's not just going to sit on top of your makeup. It's going to basically make your skin better over time. We're at the very bottom of the makeup bag. We're getting there. So I have a little bit of tools in here. So first are my hairpins. These are by Harry Josh. They're incredible. They don't leave any creases in your hair, especially if you already styled your hair before you do any makeup. These are awesome. And then last but not least, the Stacked Skincare Dermaplane Tool to shave your face, to dermaplane your face. So this was fun. <laughs> Jackie, I'm curious what you have in your makeup bag. Oh, that would scare you. <laughs> scare me. All right, guys, thank you for watching, spending time with me, and I'll see you the next one very soon. Bye.